What's up everybody? Today we are doing another retro let's play, this time of Luigi's Mansion. Uh, was this a launch title for the GameCube? I believe it was. I think it was, and this game was a fantastic GameCube game. What? Because it's... Because it's Luigi, and Luigi's the man. It's a survival horror. It is, dude. Luigi, Luigi is better than Mario in every way, shape, and form. That's debatable. No, like, a million percent. He's faster, he can jump higher, and what more do you need for, out of your plumber? I need a fast jumping plumber. Paisanos? No. No? No. You don't need it. Luigi's just the man. I can't wait to get my... I'm gonna need a Luigi tattoo. Are you afraid of the dark? Not in a little bit. Um... But yeah, this is another one that Ryan is, uh... Speedmaster General on. Not even close. He knows what he's doing with this. Glitchorama, they say. I... That's what I say. I don't care about them. Tell me about it's all about the doubles in this game. Mm -hmm. they, they had a fantastic sequel to this game called Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon on the Nintendo 3DS. Did you play it actually? Oh yeah, I played the crap out of the game. Luigi's Mansion is a fantastic game. Not one of my favorites of all time, but it's definitely fantastic. As is um the second one. The second one's even better, I think. I think it's like four mansions together. Yeah. And then, and then yeah, there's the rumor that Luigi's Mansion 3 is gonna be an MX launch title. Launch title, Maybe. not launch title. A lunch title? That's gonna be a lunch title. Show me the double! Um, I'm so excited if that's the case. Yeah, next day one for me, even though it already is. I might wait till day two personally. Uh, <laughs> Why? <laughs> I guess. It's gonna be sold out by the end. I can't wait, dude. I cannot wait to wait in line for it. I can't wait to wait at home for it to ship. <laughs> and at my door. Yeah, right. I cannot wait to go out and wait in line, talk to all the other Nintendo people. See, this people. is good. This is Uncle Brimley's room. Mm. Oh, yeah. Look, I love that you got all the Luigi's Mansion lore down, too. <laughs> what, you have, um... I think Super Mario I... Sunshine lore. Oh, I should what, else, what else did we play? I don't remember. That you had a bunch of it down for that was funny. Oh yeah. He took up all that money. Is that Uncle Brimley right there? No. You don't get him to like the fourth chapter. I just... Oh man. That dude just throws bananas. Oh, so I was, I'm supposed to hide in this corner. I wasn't supposed to open it. And then you could push that guy and then go for the dog. Oh man. Speed run technique 101, people. Why don't you take a picture of the uh, mirror with your Game Boy Horror? I will, so I can. I remember it that. actually. I remember somebody that told me it doesn't save time. It doesn't. No, you want to just walk and go this way. Hmm. That's not true. For you, this part of the game, because, you'd have been back by now. Well, you go downstairs, and you don't need to go downstairs. Oh, the key unlocks something up here. Yeah, you got to continue up here. So, hmm. I think it would have been faster. To, I don't know. It's probably like really close because you yeah. go to this door. Mm -hmm. I gotta say though, I love that they call it a Game Boy Horror and it's actually a Game Boy Color. And that's like when it was relevant. Like the Game Boy Color was relevant when the GameCube Project Dolphin was launching. Yeah. That's so cool. You ready to run one cycle of Nigel? Um, Nigel Thornberry? Do it. I remember that show too. That was a good show. The, um, on Dark Moon, he has a DS. He has like a regular old school DS. And it's called the Dual Screen. Oh, that's cool. Instead of Game Boy Horror dual we, we screen, do it's got dual dark moon screen. Because I have it visually on one of the yeah. I got to transfer. Yeah, it's, it's been a long time since I played. It's that. way too good. It's it's such a great game, dude. The DS is DS is a great system. If you don't have one, buy one. The dual screen. The dual screen. Is that what it stands for, though? Mm -hmm. Dual shock. Yeah. Uh, so this one you want to. You got to pull that open because then the she window, gets the breeze. The breeze yeah. Is there a toad out there? Out. Yeah, I think it's tried. Dude, uh, why are you being such a little wuss? Should have actually timed it. Yeah. Now that looks like a treasure chest ripped straight out of the Legend of Zelda. I'm just saying. It might have been copy and pasted. It probably was. All right, Nintendo. Around a Chauncey. Oh, Chauncey the baby. Yeah. So what do you have to do? Eat the whole family? Whole family. Suck it up. <laughs> I don't think there's any relation between mm -hmm. these. Nigel is so the dad. Yeah. And Penelope is the mom. Uh, it wasn't Penelope. Whatever her name is. What's her name? I'm not 
you gotta remember. Chauncey though, like gives you like straight up a boss battle though. Yeah. This is Oh, maybe not. Doesn't he take you into the crib? Or is he that or later? She? No, yeah, we're going. To Chauncey's a babe. Oh boy. Chauncey's not a girl's name. I don't know. If any girls named Chauncey are watching this, let me know. And until that happens, I'm sticking with Chauncey the boy. See, here's the thing, though. This name. is a very tough boss battle. This was a fun boss battle, though. This might be, at this point, my least favorite boss battle. Oh, man. Although, I have issues with Bowser, so I kind of don't like it. That's a tough What's one. What's the uh, yellow star mean in the corner? Uh, it's on you being fucked in the Does that make it harder or easier? I think the ghosts are a little bit stronger, but your vacuum sucks. A lot more? Yeah. Like, your vacuum really powerful. sucks. It, it's more powerful. Though. So you... No, you don't want to get the power of the game. Why do you want to get the Invincibility. Um, no, I don't want to. Are you kidding? You didn't get any of those. I've never seen that before. Normally if you're hit by a ball, although I'm sure there's a reason why that I don't know so much about it. I just know the route, I don't know the mechanics of it. You can't one side of the You cannot. You want to get him down to like a buffer two. Weird. Look at, I love how there's all the dust everywhere. Like that's real detail right yeah. there. Like especially like when you're stuck in the vacuum, like when you suck the wall, it's got like dust that comes off it. That's just too cool. Look at that. That's like real attention to detail. Sorry. I mean, no, it's okay. I want to get to find this one. I could end this here, but even Chonky likes to just break away. You got it, look at that. It's just a, wow, that was a good one. Alright, time to go to ETF. Make some game. That's right. Another fun fact Professor Egad was in uh, Super Mario or Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga or something like that, that. True. or Bowser's Inside that. Story or one of those. And I don't remember when that came out. Did that come out before or after this game? It should be over there somewhere, but uh, is it? I think so. Well, if the Superstar good. Saga was the Game Boy Advance one, yeah. So if it came out on a DS one, then we're gonna go to the handy dandy Google again, Professor. Dude, those, those evolve into roomies in Sunshine. Oh, that's where they come from? Yeah, that's where they come from. So, I type in Professor, and all I have is Professor. What do you think the number one search is for right now? Xavier. Nope. Professor Willow. Oh, Pokemon. From Pokemon Go. Oh, come on. Pokemon Go has officially taken over the world. Officially. Guess who number two is? Professor Griff. Nigel. Do you know who that is? Professor Griff? Griff Ball? That's what I was thinking, but... And then number two is Professor X. From X-Men? Yeah, the infamous X-Men. That's Area 1 right there. I love it. What was I about to look up anyway? Oh yeah, Professor Egad. Egad. Professor Egad. He looks so good. Mario and Luigi. He's looking good for an old guy. Ooh, another fun fact. I love these fun facts. What does the E stand for in EGAD? Elvin. E-L-V-I-N. Did you, Professor Elvin Gad? Mario and Luigi Partners in Time is the one that he's in. But that's the one where they're in the bar. And I think like a bunch of different characters show up in it, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Mistaken? Yeah. Two separate things. Nice. First appearance, Luigi's Mansion. Latest appearance. I got a Jupiter pose out of it. Super Mario Maker. You can be Professor E get a Super Mario Maker oh, as a costume. That's cool. That's cool. 
a quote, a direct quote, a direct Oh, quote. I want it all five, I only got three. Direct quote from Professor Elvin Gad. I'm getting too old for this ghost catching tomfoolery. I like it. Dang, prof. Nine ghosts, that's not ten. But there you go. Three. Little fun fact about Luigi's Mansion. There you have it. Area there one. There you go, area one and a little Ten secret thing after that. Where will you go, Luigi? Watch next time to find out. Bogmire. We have Bogmire. Is that the name of a ghost? Yeah, and then Blue Losses and then Bowser. That's it? Four areas. Oh. Each one of those are like the bosses. Oh, of an area. There's a bunch of like portrait ghosts. Yeah. yeah. And then you gotta catch off 50 boos. So stay tuned. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. That was Luigi's Mansion on Rabbit Hole Let's Play. Stay fresh. That's right.